Okay, welcome back. Um, Y'all actually missed a video because I tried to upload it and it didn't upload. Um, so I'm basically just going to recap some of what I talked about then that you never heard. Um, so I redesigned the base and this is what we're looking at right now. So we have basically an island and we have our dock and we have our ship builder and we have a lot of the regular buildings. This is what we're calling the meat wall. And then this, these are the guns. So um, here's here's the problem that I got attacked again. It wasn't it wasn't a really bad attack. It took out the I think the the old design still had this here, right? So they took out all of these, which was expected. I want them to do that. And then I had some damage on this warehouse, this warehouse, and at the time I think these two were switched. <clears throat> Which leads me to believe that when I had some had the buildings over here, they may or may not have really been able to hit the warehouse, but the warehouses were getting a lot of splash damage from the buildings that they could hit. So I wanted to have that double width border all the way around, you know, as much as possible, and still have it so that it takes a little, it takes a lot of effort to get there. So what we have, okay, now you can see it. You can see that um, when they get to that middle oil rig, you see the three in the row. When they get to that middle oil rig, they're going to be hit on by most of the turrets at the same time. That's what we want. That's a good thing because um, it really says pretty much once you get in here, you better have a really good fleet, otherwise you're going to be in a world of hurt. You can take out all this stuff around the edges, you can get some quick cash and move on. But I'm protecting my and this is what this is what I'm really protecting. I'm protecting my outpost, which I think holds 20% 20, 20 of everything. Uh, the warehouses. Um, protecting my dock, because if you if they destroy your dock, you have to wait till it repairs before you can use it. Um, and then I left one slot in the back for whatever I'm upgrading that's expensive or takes a while to upgrade. So what I'm going to do is anytime I want to do a major upgrade, like I want to upgrade this, or I want to upgrade this, which really is this one, this one, and this one, the only two, I'm, only three I'm going to care about. Whichever one I'm upgrading, I'm going to put it back here because if the building gets destroyed while it's being upgraded, the game will give you a penalty amount of time. Uh, it extends the upgrade time. So I've had an upgrade before that already took naturally, I think it was like 14 days. And then my my base had been hit um, two or three times. And so it, it added, overall it added like three days to the upgrade. So I didn't really know about that. So you really want to protect your upgradable, your upgrading um, buildings. So what am I doing now research wise? I'm researching the Titanium 3. That allows me to upgrade the walls. That that allow me to upgrade the um, the um, the platforms. Oh, here it is. Allow me to upgrade the platforms. I have started some of the. I have the Sentinel missiles three, and I have a couple upgraded. Maybe just one or two. Maybe just one. Yeah, so I'll be working on that too. Um, really, once I get the titanium three, I'll pro I'll probably doing. Well, I gotta wait for this to finish upgrading too. Um, I'll work on that a lot. What kind of distracted me was um, I can't change this. The um, all right, I can show you here. The game came out with submarines, so. I was like, oh, I want to get a submarine. So I have one. I actually have two. So the submarines, uh, but I used one and I almost lost it on a cargo two fleet. So I'm not overly impressed. There's probably a technique you really need to learn to use these because they do submerge, but at certain points of the time they do come back up. And you have a little clock that kind of tells you when that's going to happen. Um, so, yeah. 
And you cannot have an entire fleet of them because you can't have a flagship as a submarine. So I was kind of distracted by it. I don't really know fast too. This one has to be an uh, engine one. Um, so I don't know. So I'm building my last. I have. I'm gonna build five of these battle barges that have the engines and the hardened barrels with the thuds. With the idea that these are gonna be for ferrying cargo. You know, kill. Use the marauders to kill the ships and use the use the battle barge to to carry it. Um, and then I want to build a fleet of battle barges that could take out a base. Um, and, and I don't know if we talked about this, but what we're going to do, I can't see it. Um, this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to use peacemaker mortars. Probably it has to be a level one. We're going to use uh, for the specials. We're going to use um, in the advanced lab. The very first thing it's the uh, it's the special armor for missiles because a lot of bases use these a lot of bases use these sentinel missiles and you can't duck them like you can duck a a um, if you have peacemaker mortars you can always stay out of the way of howitzers and as long as you're always moving you're never going to get hit by the um, the victory mortars but the missiles are always going to get you so the, you get the special armor that does a lot of help towards um, damage from missiles, and then um, get the um, get the thingy that makes the um, oh, it's near the last page. It makes mortars better. It makes mortars more powerful. Have have those two specials on them, and um, that should make a pretty. From what I've read on the forums, that makes a pretty decent base fleet. So you know, let's let's go back and look at look at my base again. So the idea is these this area is is heavily heavily protected. You can't get to it from over here. You can't get to it from anywhere here, here, or here. You only can get to it if you come in here and face the full mighty of all the guns. And, and if you give me a week, I'll have a lot of this stuff upgraded and it'll even be even more powerful than it is now. And anytime I want to upgrade a, a building, I'm going to switch it out. I'm going to move this one down here and move the building I'm upgrading up here. Um, so anyway, that's the recap. That's where we're at. That's what I've done. And so I'll check with any of you later. Okay, bye.